Well, the report is in and the results are pretty damning. The Census Bureau just released yesterday a new report about new construction home sales and it's not looking good for builders. In this video, we're going to talk about what has happened and what you should do as a family to prepare yourself or to protect your interests. And I say protect because honestly, it's pretty obvious that things are moving in the in the direction of a recession. And in this video, we're going to be talking about what's happened, where we are, and what you can do to prepare for that. So let's go ahead and take a look at the report. This was released at 10 a.m. on May 24th, 2022. Here is all the data of what the numbers were. And by themselves, it doesn't look very intimidating. It doesn't look very frightening. But we have a better idea if we look at this graph. This is adjusted seasonally, new residential sales for the past six years. And we see this spike right here, obviously 2020, COVID. And from that point on, we saw this decline in new construction sales, saw this spike back in late 2021. And then since December, we've seen this sharp decline of new residential sales. Right here, here's April's numbers of 591,000 homes sold during the month of April. The previous month was 709,000. That's a 16% decrease from month over month. And if we look at of what happened last April, we saw a 27% decrease in the number of homes sold in the month of April. So that is a huge decrease in the number of homes sold. And you can see here, based on your area, how that might affect you. Here's something that's very interesting. If we jump over to the sales side of things, you look here in April of this year, 444,000 homes for sale. That is the largest number of homes for sale for new construction homes. These are completed, completed new construction homes that are for sale. And you can see this 40% increase from year over year from April 2021 to April today, April 2022. From month over month, it's an 8.3% increase. Now here is this, I mean, this just gets even worse when you look at this. So this is the month's supply. Now we've steadily seen an increase in the supply from 2021 of the homes that were for sale for new construction homes. Well, from March to April, we saw a 30% increase from March to April. And from April to April, 2021 to 2022, a 91% increase increase in inventory, meaning it's going to take about nine months for the current inventory of new construction homes to actually be purchased. And that's a huge increase from what we've seen before. Now, if we take a look at just a year over year to date, back in April of 2021, there were a total of 303,000 homes sold as of April of 2021. Here, we're already seeing a decrease. So we are seeing a slowdown in the number of homes sold for new construction. So why are new home sales declining and why is the inventory rising? Well, the answer is pretty clear that it's due to rising interest rates. If you take a look at a 30 year fixed mortgage over the past year, you're going to see just this steady increase in interest rates and the increase has been dramatically fast. I mean, we're talking in just six months ago, we're seeing rates that were under 3%. That's incredible to where at one point was over five and a half percent. We're down to about 5.27 interest rate right now, but buyers have seen this sharp increase and it's kind of scary. When you look at what you could afford then to where what you could afford now, let's take a look at, at that. The average new construction was at four or the median sale price of a new construction was $450,000. We'll look at that here more in a second. But the interest rate two months ago, four and a half percent. On a 30 year mortgage, your payment was $2,280. Now, just two months later, that same $450,000 home at 5.27% on a 30 year mortgage is $2,487. That is an increase of $207 a month. And if you look at the interest that you'll pay over the course of 30 years, that's $76,847. 
that is a lot of money. When you have other YouTubers or you have other statistics out there, when people are calculating this and they see what they could afford then to what they afford now, people are like, eh, that, I, I feel like I missed it. And that's why we're seeing an increase in the amount of inventory for new construction and the decrease in the number of homes sold for new construction homes. To give you a different perspective on the supply of new construction homes and to see where they're at, here is where the levels are right now. A nine month supply of inventory. We haven't seen that inventory that high since May of 2010. That was right after the crash in 2008. So we're seeing levels that are extremely high and it's going to be very intriguing to see what's going to happen in the coming months. Okay, let's move on to home sale prices for new construction. Here is a graph over the past 20 years. We can see since COVID, we saw this huge spike in the value of new construction homes. A big part of that had to do to lumber shortages and they've come so high. Right now we're having lumber prices have basically dropped dramatically and we're seeing the highest price in new constructions that we've ever seen over the past 20 years. As you can see here, part of the reason we're seeing such a high number for a sell price for new construction is for two reasons. We saw rising lumber prices and we're also seeing more homes sell at a higher price point and fewer homes sell at a lower price point, which makes that median sell price a higher number. Again, a median sell price is the middle point between all of the new construction homes that have sold. So if you take a look right here, at the annual levels for 2020 and 2021, you can see that in 2020, there were 132,000 homes built between 400 and 500,000. In 2021, 154,000. And if you look at 500 to 750, 104,000 up to 158,000. If we go on the opposite end, we're seeing the opposite take place. In 2020, only 53,000 homes built between 150 and 200, down to 12,000 homes in 2021. So because we're seeing less affordable new construction homes and more luxury built homes, we are seeing that high, higher median sell price for new construction. So I wanna answer two questions. What does this mean now? And what should you do moving forward? So right now at the time of this video, it means that we're in a transitional market. A transitional market means a mixed bag of chips, some good, some bad, and definitely more bad to come. So if you are a buyer, seller, or an investor, there are different things and different approaches you should be taking, especially in this market. If you're a seller, and you've thought about selling or you need to sell at some point this year, I would highly encourage you to do it sooner than later. In a transitional market, it basically means that buyers are still being aggressive at getting a house. This means you're still going to get that high price on your home before we see it all turn bad in the future. If you're an investor, I highly encourage you to hold your cash and wait. I think and believe strongly there are going to be better opportunities even later this year than you would get right now. So holding cash is going to be more valuable than spending that money at a higher interest rate at a high price. If you're a buyer and you have to buy because you're relocating or you're because you have a job opportunity or you just are out of space and you need a place for your family, I would encourage you to buy a five to seven out of 10 instead of buying a nine out of 10 home. In other words, don't buy luxury, buy necessity. If you do this, you're going to not have as much competition because everybody and their mom wants a brand new home, wants a decked out, decked out to the nine style of house where they don't have to do anything, they can just walk in. Those are gonna still get high competition in this transitional market. So if you go with something a little less desirable, you won't be paying extra for that house when you need to to be in a home in this type of market, which will shield you in the future when values go down, when the market turns here in the future. If you're a buyer looking to build a home, I will encourage you to wait as well as I believe in the future, we'll see values come down. Now, if you think I'm wrong, leave a comment down in the description. I'd love to hear your opinion. And if you are concerned about potential recession, check out this video right here about why the Midwest is a shelter against recessions. It's a great video. Check it out and we'll see you in the next one.